Hey guys, today we're looking at lesson 2-2, add and subtract decimals. I love adding and subtracting decimals. I think it's um, the same as adding and subtracting regular whole numbers, except the only thing is you always, always, always have to make sure that your decimals line up. And that's the biggest thing. If you don't remember anything else I say to you today, make sure your decimals line up. So let's look at this first problem. It says Gloria rode her bicycle 75 hundredths mile in the morning and a one and 42 hundredths mile in the afternoon. How many miles did Gloria ride in all? Solve this problem any way you choose. Okay, so let's look at this. We have 75 hundredths mile in the morning and we have one and 40 hundredths mile in the afternoon. Our question says, how many miles did Gloria ride in all? So when we're finding in all, remember we are adding, we're going to combine those amounts together. So we have 75 hundredths, I'm gonna put that down right here, 75 hundredths, and then I have one and 40 hundredths. Now, one and 40 hundredths, again, make sure your decimals line up, one and 40 hundredths. I just make sure that they, all of my place values are in the right spot. So I know my ones are in the same place, my decimals are in the same place, my tenths, and then my hundredths are all in the same place. Let's add it up. So we have 0 plus 5 is 5, 4 plus 7 is 11. I want to regroup. Before I start adding up my ones place, I'm going to bring down my decimal. That is super important and that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see with fifth graders is you don't bring down your decimal so then you look like you have this giant whole number which is not the case. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. So if I didn't bring down my decimal, it would look like 215 miles. Did she ride 215 miles in all? Heck no, she didn't. She only did two and five, 15 hundredths miles. So it makes a big difference with just that little decimal. So make sure you bring that decimal down. All right, so that's how we would solve that one. Hopefully we got it. If not, we're gonna do some more practices and then we will hopefully get it. Let's go ahead and turn to the back of the, this page. So we're looking at page 52. Let me get my stuff together here. All right, this one says, use the table at the right to find the total monthly cost of using the dishwasher and the DVD player. So we're looking for the total monthly cost. So total, we know we're going to be adding of the dishwasher and the DVD player. So let's go over here. Again, I'm going to circle DVD player costs this much and then the dishwasher calls, costs this much. So I have my two amounts. This one says you can use compatible numbers to estimate. So we know 85 cent plus 40 cent is about 80 plus 40, which is the sum of about 120. $1.20, not $120, excuse me. It is about $1.20. So this says that we can use place value blocks to model 85 cent and 40 cent. So we would have eight sticks, those would represent your tenths, and then your five hundredths would represent your five hundredths, okay? That's what the little boxes are gonna represent. And then this one you have four sticks, which would represent your four tenths. So this says you can combine the blocks and regroup when you can. So now you're taking two of these blocks and putting them right here. You're taking two of those and putting it, so if you do right here, two, putting it with this. You're taking these blocks and you're putting it with this. It's like you're going back and forth with it. Now you have one hole plus your two tenths that you have left plus your five hundredths. So you would have $1.25. That's one way to do this with these place value blocks. Now, are you always gonna have the place value blocks? No. Are we sometimes gonna be asked questions about the place value box? Sure, so we need to be familiar with how to do this, not necessarily doing this every single time to solve these problems. 
All right, let's look at another example. Another example says you can subtract decimals with place value blocks. So we're going to find one and 57 hundredths minus 89 hundredths. So the first step that they tell us to do is to show one and 57 hundredths with place value charts. So we have our one, they represented that with a whole one of those things. And then you have your five tenths and then your seven hundredths. So far so good, right? Good. So now we are going to subtract or take away 89 hundredths of that and regroup the blocks and remove eight tenths and nine hundredths. So we didn't have all of these lines, okay? We didn't have all of these tenths. We took one whole and made that 10 tenths. So that's where we got our 10 tenths from. And then we regrouped eight tenths of that and nine hundredths of that and crossed it out because we're no longer using it. And we're we'll gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundredths. Sorry, six tenths and eight hundredths. Okay, so we just crossed it out and moved on. That's another way we, that would be how we would represent it if we were using place value blocks. Um, as subtraction. That's what it would look like. All right, let's look at this one. It says, how do you know how? So we are going to use the place value box to add or subtract. Um, so I am going to, we're going to do a couple of these examples together. So if they have one and 22 hundredths, let me draw one, okay, 20, that's two tenths and two hundredths, okay? Then we're going to add three tenths, one, two, three, and four hundredths, one, two, three, four. Now if I combine it, I have one whole, one, two, three, four, five tenths, one, two, three, four, five tenths, and one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths, one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths. And that would be my answer. Okay, so let's write it in. One decimal six. No, wait, is it one, two, three, four, five? I already messed it up. Sorry. One and fifty six hundredths. Okay, let's look at this one. This one was sixty three hundredths plus forty one hundredths. So I have sixty three, one, two, three, four, five, six hundred, six tenths and three hundredths, one, two, three. And then I have 41 hundredths, one, two, three, four, and one hundredth. So let's combine it. If I add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I have 10 tenths, how much is that? That would be one whole. So now I have one whole, zero tenths, and one, two, three, four, four hundredths. Four. How would I represent that as a number though? I would have one and there's zero tenths and four hundredths. So that's what it would look like if we are representing it as a decimal. Now we're going to do the subtraction one. Subtraction one seems to take up a little bit more room. So I'm going to just have my little piece of paper here. I'm going to rewrite my problem. So for number four, we have two and 73 hundredths minus 94 hundredths. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my big number. So I have two holes, represent that with my two holes, my seven tenths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and my three hundredths, one, two, three. Okay, so far so good. Now, I'm trying to take 94 hundredths away. Can I take, or let's start with our tenths. Do I have nine tenths to take away? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I don't. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to regroup this as 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna cross that out because I've now made it 10, okay? So now I have, do I have enough to do nine? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Now I have taken my nine tenths away. Now let's go to our hundredths place. We have four hundredths. There's only three of them right here. So I'm gonna have to take one of these tenths away and make 10 hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I have, I can take my four away. One, two, three, four. And now I have to see what I have left. So I have one whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now if I wrote that as a decimal, I would have one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 79 hundredths. Yes? Okay. Let's do another one because I know some of y'all are like, what is going on? So let's do number six. So six is 47 hundredths minus 21 hundredths. Okay, so I don't have any holes for this one, so I'm starting with my 47 um, hundredths. So that means I'm starting with four sticks, one, two, three, four, because there's 10 four tenths. And then I have seven hundredths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we can subtract. So we're gonna take away two tenths and cross that out. And I'm gonna take away one hundredth and cross that out. So now I'm left with two tenths and one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths. So zero and 26 hundredths. Okay, hopefully that just gets easier as the more you do it, the easier it gets. And trust me, it's taken me a while to get used to this, but you'll get it in the long run. So I'm going to write down the answer, answer, well, I can't not speak, the answers to these. So this was one and 79 hundredths, and then this was 26 hundredths. All right, now, again, this says to add or subtract these. It says use place value blocks to help. So if you use them, fantastic. If you don't use them, it's okay. I understand you're like, holy mess, this is really confusing. I can't do this. Don't do it. If it's too confusing, just don't do it. Just do it the regular old way and line up your decimals. So if we are doing number eight, which is one tenth and 73 hundredths, the only thing that I'm asking you to do is make sure that your decimals line up. So you would have to put that zero at the end and then add it up. So that would give you three eighths, one or 83 hundredths. All you have to do, make sure your decimal is lined up. Okay. If you have questions, make sure you to reach out. I am going to get y'all to do nine, 10, 11, and 15. Okay. Flip to the back. Let's see what we got on the back. All right, I do want you to do number 16. This one, you're writing an expression that is represented by the model. So that's not just saying what is the answer. The expression, that's the uh, like a number problem. So if I had the expression four plus four, that's what my answer, that would be my answer. That's the expression, four plus four, okay? So you're telling me, Am I subtracting, am I adding, and what is adding and subtracting in that one? Okay, um, and then I want you to go to number 22. Number 22 says each set of place value blocks below represents a decimal. What is the sum of the decimals? And explain how you found your answer. So you're gonna find the sum, so that means you are adding, and then you're gonna tell me how you found your answers. Okay, you've got this, you're a rock star. I know you can do awesome things. So go ahead and get started. Call me if you need help.